Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising quadratics of the form x squared plus or minus bx minus c. So in particular it's where this final term or the constant term as it's called is going to be negative and this middle term might be positive or negative. So hopefully you've already seen the previous videos on this topic on factorising quadratics. If we have for example a simple one like x squared plus 5x plus 6, a quadratic expression like this, to factorise it, i.e. to get it into two brackets, we find two numbers which add to give this middle number and times to give this last number. So they've got to add to give the 5, the number in front of the x, and they've got to times to give this last number, the 6. So what numbers multiply to give 6? Well, it could be 1 times 6. But those numbers don't add up to give 5, do they? Or it could be 3 and 2. And indeed, those numbers do add up to give 5. So remember that we put an x at the start of each of these brackets, because that's x squared, that's x. And then we use these two numbers here. So we've got plus 3 and plus 2. And they can be either way around. So if we were to expand out these brackets, we would get this expression here. Now, these are slightly more difficult because we've got some negatives and a mixture of negatives and positives floating around. But the principle is still the same. If we just write out this first one, x squared minus 2x minus 15, we need to find two numbers which add to give negative 2 and multiply to give negative 15. Now, if two numbers multiply to give a negative number, it must be that one of them's positive and one of them's negative. So let's think about the different numbers that multiply to give 15, if it was positive. Well, we could have uh, 5 and 3, for example. And can you see that 5 and 3 combine in some way to make minus 2? Remember that if these multiply to give negative 15, one of these has to be negative and one positive. So which one is it? Well, if we had minus 5 plus 3, do they add to give minus 2? Yes, they do. So we can see the negative goes on the 5 here, because those two added together give you negative 2. And then we've got our two brackets. We've got x minus 5 and x plus 3. If it was the other way around, and we had positive 5 and negative 3, they still multiply to give negative 15, but they no longer add up to give minus 2, because 5 plus negative 3 is 2, not minus 2, so that would be wrong. What about the second one? We've got y squared plus, well, there's no number in front of that y, so we're just going to put 1, because 1y is the same as y. And then we've got minus 6. So we need two numbers that add to give positive 1, and multiply to give negative 6. So, it could be that you have 1 and 6, but they don't combine in any way, like add or subtract to make 1, or it could be 3 and 2. Now, 3 and 2 do combine in some way to make 1. Is it 3 minus 2, or minus 3 plus 2? Well, it's this one you want to make negative, because 3 plus negative 2 is the same as 3 minus 2 would be 1. And they do indeed multiply to give minus 6. Positive times negative will be negative. So therefore, we have these two brackets. We put a y at the start, because this is in terms of y rather than x this time. And then the two numbers are plus 3 and negative 2. So don't forget that plus symbol there. And that is it.